Hello guys and welcome to Sevilla. In this video, I'm going to take you through the top five things to do in Seville. First off, let's start with one of the main attractions in Seville, Plaza de España. Just parked here beside Plaza de España and we're going to have a look because we haven't been here. This is slightly further out from the city centre so we came by car. It was just a eight minute drive, something like that. And now we're here. It looks very cool. We're going to explore. It seems to be very low on people, which is great. Exactly what we wanted. So let's have some fun. We are in Park Maria Luisa, which has this, which is the Plaza de España. Look at that. Such a nice view. And here is the park and you see loads of people. Well, now you see no one, but there are a bunch of people just walking around, exercising, enjoying their nice Sunday morning, which is very cool to see. It's always nice to see locals enjoying the beautiful spots around them. It's freezing cold and once again, wearing shorts and pushing piggies pushchair, but it's, I'm happy. I'm happy. This looks very cool. So as I said, we're here in the Plaza de España and this is actually a monument built specifically to be a monument for the Ibero-American Expo in 1928. So pretty recent and I think you can tell from the architecture it's so well preserved. So you've got this main building structure that makes this arc and then you've got these bridges and under the bridges you've got this nice little river that goes all around it as well and you can actually go on a boat and just go for a stroll around here i mean it's not a long stroll but it must be nice and relaxing look at that very very cool really impressed with this is probably my absolute favorite thing of the trip and that was to go to a flamenco night this was such a wonderful experience take a look so here we are in the flamenco Let's see it's uh, just waiting for it to start another 20 minutes or so So we're just done with the flamenco show. That was incredible. Those guys are absolute machines. Footwork that they do is mind boggling. Super, super quick, super controlled. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, very much. I don't know if that was what I was expecting, but it was super cool. And I think they did a bunch of different styles. They did the sort of more tap dancing. Then I think they did Sevillanas. I don't know. I think they're different styles, but it was very good. And the guys also had great voices. So. Overall, very, very good experience. Definitely would recommend. I'll leave the link for this in the bio, in the bio, in the description of the video. Number three, go and have a look at the Cathedral of Seville. It's actually the second biggest in the world. Take a look. The Cathedral. This thing is absolutely monstrous. Let me focus for you. So this is the Sevilla Cathedral and I just read that it's the second biggest in the world and that is because the Vatican is not considered a cathedral. The only one bigger than this one is in Brazil. That is absolutely amazing. It was built in 1593. Well, finished being built.
here's another perspective. This is the Plaza del Triunfo. Very nice. Then you've got the wall of the castle over here. Such a nice vibe. to another one of the big, big attractions of Seville, Setas de Sevilla. It's honestly one of the best places I've ever been to to watch the sunset. So we have arrived at one of the main attractions in Seville, which is the Seville Arrows. Is that how you say it, Seville Arrows? Setas de Sevilla. So we are trying to go to the viewpoint of the Setas de Sevilla and this is absolutely packed but we need to go, need to get in line. We've made it past the huge queue of people and now it's time to go up. Look at that view, absolutely amazing but it is full of people obviously. As I said, this is absolutely full of people. Not easy to get a nice pick, but it's a very nice view regardless. The sky is amazing and you really do see all of Seville. So it was 13 euros to get up here, but definitely worth it. And important fact, I thought that setas were arrows because in Portuguese setas are arrows, but it turns out setas are mushrooms because that's the shape of these things. Here are the mushrooms, las setas. It was actually really cool going to see the sunset there. I think the experience really is worth it. Uh, 13 euros, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not bad. You really have an amazing view, nice photo spot, full of people, but it's cool. Finally, number five, eat Spanish food. Now, I've got to be real with you. Spanish food is not my favorite, but there are some, but there are definitely some things worth trying. So have a look at what we went to try on our trip to Seville. This is Plaza San Francisco and we are back at the place that has the churros. And now it's breakfast time, so they will have churros, hopefully. A very important Spanish tradition, especially in the winter, is churros. So these are these dough things, dough sort of rings made out of dough and they're deep fried and then you dip them into chocolate which is absolutely delightful we do have these in portugal as well but it's not traditional as it is here to have for breakfast or for tea in the winter time it's usually just something you eat at fairs fun fairs and stuff so let's give these churros a nice little taste test first dip them in the chocolate that looks magnificent Very interesting actually because the dough in itself is not sweet at all so it's only sweet because you put the chocolate on it usually we have these in with sugar around in Portugal but very nice combination not healthy at all probably one of the worst things that you can eat but very good so I'll leave the link to this cafe down in the description but there are a bunch of places where you can eat churros all around so enjoy another traditional thing in spain are tapas this is sort of tapas on the go this is a cono and cono yeah this is a cono and i've got a prosciutto in here let's give it a try come on very good I absolutely love prosciutto I actually eat it pretty regularly not this cube version the sliced version because it's super rich in protein and moderate fat very easy to eat it is cured so the health of it all is a bit questionable but delightful so 
This is a must do if you're here. Either sit down or grab one of these on the go. Enjoy. And that wraps up the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. This trip was a blast. Short little trip, two days. Um, we absolutely loved it, both Joanna and I. We walked a lot. Piggy also loved the trip, I think. And we do want to go back. It was very, very cool. Very nice atmosphere in the city. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. And obviously, I would appreciate your thoughts and opinions in the comments section. That is all for today, guys. I will see you in the next one.